Okay, so it is that time of year where we are getting a lot of things in the garden. So we are going to start making things with our garden produce. I was going to do something with kale tonight. However, it's been raining and storming, so I am not going to go out to the garden to get some of the kale. So we are going to make another variation of quiche. We are going to use a broccoli head that I have and make a bacon and broccoli quiche tonight. So we're going to start with getting some bacon going. Actually, I might be able to do this. Aha! Some of these are good at that. So smart. Now we do not grow our own pigs on the farm because we do not eat very much pork. So when I need bacon, I do have to buy it. So this is the lower sodium bacon from Aldi, uh, which is a pretty good price and it's a pretty good bacon for the money. Um, I like to get bacon at the farmer's market but I have not been to the big farmer's market in a while, and the smaller ones that I sell at, we do not have a pork vendor. So let's get this on the stove. Well, I thought my microphone was dead, but I think it might be okay. So hopefully that helps out. All right, so let's get the broccoli ready. And I am going to wash this. All right. I'm about to pick my last broccoli. We did not get a lot this year. Some of it went straight to seed. Um, and then we got like one or two big heads and then the rest are like really, really small heads. But we're getting in, you know, consistently into the 90s. So we're not gonna get pretty much anything else off of them so I will take some of the really pretty leaves for some of that great broccoli flavor and I will cook with the bigger ones like this and then we'll try again in the fall we we had a slow start to the spring and then when it took off it just it really took off actually probably have way too much here for because you need about two cups so that's probably about one that's probably about two so I will save that and I'm going to go ahead and do an onion Now I have some fresh onion in the garden and I've actually got some drying in the barn 
but I have a few of these left in the refrigerator, so I'm going to go ahead and use them up. And that saves me, again, from having to go out in the wet and the rain right now to dig up an onion. I might do. And I do have garlic in the garden as well that I have not harvested that I desperately need to. But we'll use garlic powder for right now. So these are pie crusts that I did back in late December and they've been in the freezer and hopefully they are thawed out enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. My pie crust needs work. But that's okay. These are my eggs. We just reuse cartons. Now these were standing straight up in the water, but they were not floating yet. And I will link a video here that talks about preserving eggs and how to know when they're bad and all that stuff. But we definitely want to crack these individually to make sure they're good. And even the floating ones may have been fine, but this is definitely a good way to use older eggs because we have fresh ones coming in. And I'm going to add some fresh cream. Well, it's not fresh. I don't have a cow. And our goats are not milking yet. Because they're still babies. But... It's fresh as far as getting it at the store. So, we're going to do a half cup of cream. 
and about three quarters milk maybe I'm not doing it exact and then I am going to add some of this fresh Parmesan cheese from Azure Standard. This is not the same as in the cans. It is not shelf stable. So you do have to keep it in the fridge. So I have not bought a big quantity. I think you can freeze it. So I may buy a larger quantity next time and put it in bags to freeze. And we'll see how that goes. All right, and then I'm gonna add salt and pepper. Not too much because the Parmesan is a bit salty and the bacon, even though it's like low sodium, it still has salt in it. So we're not gonna add a ton. And that's it. So let's get our bacon. All right. Now I've got to the bacon grease, I've got to add our onion and broccoli and give it a quick cook. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna chop up my bacon and get it in the pan. And I did some extra because my son will come in here and eat it. I would say probably five to seven pieces depending on your bacon. All right. So I'm just going to layer that in the bottom. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of this minced garlic oil because I don't want the chunks of garlic, but I do want some of that flavor. So I'm just going to drizzle that in there and let it cook. So this is the bacon grease, the onions, the broccoli, and that garlic oil cooking down. And I am gonna drain the bacon grease off. So this is after draining the grease off. And we're just gonna layer that in there. And then 
then we're going to do about a cup of the mild cheddar. And then pour our egg mixture, which is nice and frothy. And it does have that Parmesan down in there. Let me get the spoon. Probably could have used a little more cream, but it is right there at the top, so we are going to leave that. And there's plenty of cheese in it. So this is it. We're going to get it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. Let's see if it's done now. I cut into it when I came back in. A little bit ago and it was still just a little bit eggy in the center which it may not have been eggy it may have just been like from the cheddar cheese but it does look a little bit better it was just right in that very center right there it was just a little wetter than I wanted it to be But there we go. Broccoli and bacon quiche. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I have a few more that I'm going to be doing over the next week. Actually, I have a bunch that I should be doing. I'm not quite ready to can a whole lot. We don't have that much coming in the garden. But I'll try to get a new garden tour up. Some things have changed. But I will definitely be starting to cook and do some different things with the produce now that it's coming out. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you try this recipe. I'll put it below. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.